Hello, Jack. Hello, Victor. This is my sister. He did. Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. We're checking out some steel game. This is series one, episode four. I got some black coffee today. I'm in business. Episode three was so good. It was cold. It's it's called cold, but I think someone said in the description in Scottish it's cold. You pronounce it like you're saying cold. Is it cold? Cold. <sighs> Let's go. Bart, stick your pub up your ass. <laughs> Long for indefinitely. <laughs> Why did you get what bad again? Maybe I'll have to get a key cut. Two bolts for the hall, vein that not screw in. I need a battery for that doorbell. A uh, bottle of windoline, couple of dusters, a belt for the Hoover. Right. PTO. Right. Get a pint. Right. <laughs> What's those things that we did first? What's the name of this shop again? <laughs> hey, I don't know. Barrio Themes or something. <laughs> Shy hole. <laughs> there you are, gentlemen. Top of the morning and the look of the Irish. Ah, that's smashing. What uh, part of Ireland are you from? Springbum. <laughs> <laughs> that's in Scotland, isn't it? <laughs> What's in the bag? Hey, old clays. The charity shop. I hope that big honey's on the day. Hard with the tits. Hey, hey, hey. What? Grab that, the tits. All oh, right, old gentleman Jack. You coming in? No, I'll wait here. What's the matter with you? You have tits? Shut up. I'll stand here and I'll smoke my pipe. Get you in, are you daft? <coughs> Hello, my darling. You remember us? Eh, uh, I think so. The two debonair patter merchants for Craig Bank? Oh, yes, how could I forget? So. What would you like to give me? Oh, a night on the town, <laughs> cosy meal, bottle of wine, dancing till two. A meal of wine and then dancing. No, I meant in the bag. That's the mystery, eh, sweetheart? Old clays. <laughs> Excuse us. What's the score with you? What? Where's the old silver tongue, eh? I'm knocking him up and you're sleeping. <laughs> old clays. Where's the banter? The old double act. Can he be asked? Leave her alone. Leave her alone. You fancy her? I do not. Aye, you do. You've even taken a beamer. I haven't. It. It's just. It's too warm in here. Why don't you ask her out? She's lovely. Don't be ridiculous, Victor. There's nothing ridiculous about it, Jack. Just ask her out for a wee meal or something. You think? <laughs> Forgive me, sweetheart. We don't even know your name. It's Barbara. Barbara. Lovely. My friend here has something he'd like to ask you. Oh? Go on. Have you seen Jack anywhere? Aye. He flew by here two minutes ago without so much as a buy your leave. Right. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. This is Chris, Tomo, <laughs> Kelly, Kylie, the boys. Pat and Tiffany. As you can see, Pat and Tiffany are an item. <laughs> what the hell are you playing at? I'll come barred out the clansman. I've nowhere else to go. So you're hanging about with these go mutants? Why don't you just get a drink in the house? I'm not drinking in the house in my Todd. It's the company I'm missing. <laughs> Sitting there with Jackie Bird staring at you as if you're an alky. <laughs> Have you tried this? Skadooba. 6%. Strawberry. <laughs> Barbados in a bottle. <laughs> what the hell did Bobby bury you for? Barbados. Well, it was something over nothing, really. I mean, I went in there and I said, Afternoon, Bobby. Painting my usual, please. So he gives it to me, but it seems a tad cloudy. So I suggested that maybe he rinse out his pipes, you know, but Bobby said it wasn't he, the pipes. So I merely suggested that I be furnished with a fresh pint. But 
For some reason, <laughs> Bobby escorted me for the premises. Why don't you just get a pint in Bruins? Bruins? I'm not going to Bruins. The last time we were in there, somebody got stabbed. Bruins is full of roasters. <laughs> it was 15 years ago, for God's sake. No chance. Bruins is a toilet. Got a Gillies for the game of Gran Turismo? Gran Turismo, aye. Maybe I could have a pint in Bruins right enough. So obviously, I'm guessing he didn't want to. He, he likes the new girl, but it's a fact that he still misses. Um, his wife is dead, and yeah, his wife is dead. He still misses his wife, and he just doesn't want to betray her by saying someone else, which is so tough to do, you know. When you've been with someone for so long, and then you know they die, people expect you to just move on. It's uh, you've built so much connection. I'm sure a lot of people probably relate. It's just so tough. Man. It hasn't happened to me. I hope it doesn't happen to me. Boy, it must be really, really tough. The door was open there. What the hell happened to you? Ah, well, didn't give a very good impression, did I? Oh, no, he gave a very good impression, Jack. <laughs> of Jesse Owen. <laughs> right at the shop. That is Prince Ah, <laughs> yeah, well, the bottle crashed. I'm past asking MD out. Let's see. What we've got here. <laughs> what? Is it air doing that, eh? Uh, oh. a, you know that big dame there. Well, that's Janet Friel. That was the spinster that lived up the stairs. Sure, mm -hmm. aye, aye, aye. Janet Friel. Aye, 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 aye. Butter wouldn't he melt, eh, Jack? Aye. Did she not get pumped in the lobby that day? <laughs> Pumped. That's right, I was once this feather, I had dirty old bastard. Yeah, pumped. <laughs> pumped. Aye. How long's Gina away now, Jack? Hmm, about two weeks it'll be. Ten year. Ten year? That means my bet is away twelve year. Uh, so I'm racing away for his new, eh? Uh, that's uh, kind of a bit bothered me. I'm not, I'm not going through on that again. You know, Jack, it's, it's not my place to, to tell you how long a man should mourn, but... Ten years. Ten years is plenty. Uh, going on a date doesn't it betray Jean's memory. She'd want you to be happy. This reminds me of the show, I'm not sure if you've seen Afterlife, it's by Ricky Gervais, it's on Netflix, beautiful, beautiful show. It's about him losing his wife and then how he kind of moves on you know, when she's gone. Because it's so crazy, you know, when, when people lose their, you know, their other half, everyone, you know, everyone goes to them, you know, for the first few weeks, first few months, like, sorry, da, da, da. But then what happens next? It's just the, the whole psychological aspect of it. It's like the person you're used to seeing that's used to being beside you. Like, I'm going to use myself as an example. I've been with my girlfriend for five years. Oh, my God, five years. Wait. It's going to be five years this year. Oh, five years! Wow. <laughs> Just that's... Wow, time's gone by. But I've been with my girlfriend for five years, and I cannot imagine her not being in my life. Literally. I can't imagine going a week without talking. No, I can't remember going a day without us even talking, communicating. It's just something because we're so into our like our life has intertwined. She knows me anymore. Like it was two days ago, my because I play football, so my toenails are messy. I was just chilling watching TV, and she came to me. She goes, "Your toenail is so dirty, it's so messy." It wasn't dirty, just messy. It just looks weird. She just says she's gonna cut it, and she doesn't care whether I like it or not. She just cut my toenails. Like who else would want to touch my dirty toenails? You know, that's just for me. That's love. That's love. That's your way of showing you love me. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about the whole situation anyway. Let's go. Why don't you get doing that shop? Ask that woman who, hey. Besides. Hey, daddies. <laughs> <laughs> men will always be men. Oh, Lord. Big daddies.
Here. Did this no used to be Bruins? That's right, sir. Changed hands years ago. All oh, right. So what can I do for you, sir? Paint a lager, please. Jeez, it must be 15 years since I was in here last. Really? That's one pound thirty. Eh? One thirty. Jeez, oh look at that. Nice clean paint too. This is a smashing shop you've got, son. Thanks very much. <laughs> That's a message for Bobo Mitchell. See you in another 15 years. <laughs> And he said it, he said it. The last time, that's what happened. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the fact that the geezer came with a gun. Instead of him legging it, he still had the time to sip his, sip his pint. <laughs> Lord. I love Winston. Winston is one, I feel like after Jack and Victor, is like my next favorite character. Like he's that character that you just seeing his life go around. Like you never know what's gonna happen with him. Sometimes he's really happy, sometimes he's really sad. He just lives, he lives a crazy life, man. What a lad. <laughs> Listen, do you mind very much if I can myself? Right, where are you going? Wait a minute. What are you going to say? Hey, I'm going to say... Hello, Barbara. It's me, Jack. Uh, nice to see you again. Uh, allow me to be straight with you, Barbara. Uh, I've admired you for a long time uh, from afar. And it occurred to me, well, you and I are about the same age, and uh, I wondered if you were free to do so, <laughs> would you like to accompany me uh, to maybe a movie show? <laughs> for a meal or simply a drink. What do you say, Barbara? That's lovely, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Bet she's gonna mess it up. Hello. <laughs> Go out. That would be lovely. <laughs> when? Uh, Thursday. Oh, Thursday. I generally go out on Thursdays with my sister. Oh. Wait, what about your pal? The four of us could go out. Hey, hey, just a minute. <laughs> How'd you get on? How did we get on? She said I, and she's got a sister. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord, sorry. Again, I'm pausing. I'm gonna pause when I'm doing this TV show. I'm gonna pause it. It's just because I'm getting flashbacks of me doing the same thing with my best mate Tyler. Do you know? It's there's no better feeling. But when we're in college, probably like fourth year of college, if I find someone that I like and the person has a mate and the mate likes Tyler as well, pff, pff, best feeling. Best feelings. So I do know what they're going through. No matter how old you are, we men we're all the same. We're all exact same. I'm not coming. They've got us a dussy. Relax. They'll be here. And with that bus, I'll be bloody late. Ah, and with that stupid bastard that drives at two miles an hour because he's blind. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right. <laughs> you nervous? Nervous? I am nervous. I have a right to be nervous, you know. Got me a clue what this sister looks like. Hello, Jack. Hello, Victor. This is my sister. Mm. He did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember seeing that before. <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> No. No, no, no. <laughs> That's rude and funny at the same time. That's very, very rude. I remember seeing that part because she because of her teeth and everything. Oh my god, what would you do? Like as a friend, you still have to go on the date. You know, you have to respect. You have to be a gentleman, regardless. You don't have to, you know. You guys don't have to have a relationship. You just, you still be respectful and go. Oh lord, oh, what would you do? Let me know. <laughs> Two pints, Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, who's the other one for? Me. 
Oh, what the truth of going me? Oh, I'm mad with the thirst. It's like a sandal. An Arab sandal. Winston. I'm Probably dry. Winston. Bone dry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like a bottle didn't change that, Bobby, is it? Here, Winston, quick! They'll get me bloody bad as well. <laughs> oh, here, cheers, that's smashing. What do you know just going and apologise to him first? Ah, oh, he can whistle for it. I'm no apologising. I'm fine out here. Here, when you go back in there, tell Big Arthur he's sitting his arse and I can see the football and all. <laughs> hello, lads. Hi, Winston. Oh, hello, ladies. I'm Winston. Oh, hello, Winston. <laughs> you still born? Aye. Here, which one of you two unlucky bastards is saddled with a munster? Right, that's it. Where are you going? Hey, I'm not going to sit in my local with that thing, Jack. Oh, well, that's just perfect. Hey, you're going eh, while they leave me with these two women. I only saw one woman, Jack. I don't know what that other one is. A munchkin, sure. Shut up. Munchkin. Come on, Victor, get a chance. Bail me out here. Right, you owe me. Aye, aye, aye. You owe me. Are you want anything brought out? Aye, bag of nuts. Bag of nuts, right. Big bag or a wee bag? Wee bag. Wee bag. Just like Victor's. <laughs> Victor? Jack? What are you staying in at this time? Well, we're out with a couple of friends if it was any of your bloody business. <laughs> by the way, while I'm at it, when are you letting Winston back in? When he apologises. <laughs> Aren't you uh, going to introduce me? No! <laughs> Certainly. Barbara. Hello. Hello, Barbara. And Edith. Victor. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, who's for? Uh, well, we'll have our usual. Uh, have it. Gin and tonic, please. Edith. Fine again, is. I love this show. I absolutely love this show. Look at, look at his face. Look at his face. Oh no. Damn, perfect. Right. Very good score. Two one, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. Ah. Are you apologising? <laughs> Your apology, you prick. You're still barred. So, is this your local then? Oh, aye, myself and Victor have been coming here long and weary, aye. <laughs> oh, uh, Edith, so do you work in the shop with, uh, with Barbara? No. So. 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 I do alterations and that. So when. Six pony. Well, you might want to have a word with Bobby and alter his prices, either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that we need to do the alterations and that, so you might want to alter the prices in here. But... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, men will be men. Hardy, 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 in the windy boxes. Oh. <laughs> There's your bus now, eh? Listen, that was lovely, Jack. Oh, I had a lovely time. I must say, Barbara, you are good company right on the fun. I'm just saying, Victor, good company. Aye, good company. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. Right. See you soon then, Jack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night. Good night. So, what's your next move? Oh, I don't know. If she gives me a phone, I'll, uh, I'll take it for there. You know. Will you be seeing No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, you beautiful doll, you great big beautiful doll. Oh.
Oh, Victor. <clears throat> oh, hi, Victor. Hi, Jack. It's Sunday morning. Let's fatten up the ducks. Eh, uh, I can't. What are you talking about? Sunday, it's park day. Morning. Well, actually, I'm I'm going down the park with Barbara. All right. So, eh. Uh... You still want a Brit? Wow. See you after. I enjoy it. <laughs> Just the one big Kit Kat. Aye, what of it? Ah, do you normally get two big Kit Kat? One for you, one for Jack? <laughs> we didn't do everything together, Naveed. Well, they <coughs> joined at the hip. Oh, fell out, eh? Bad news. Ah, do you can't afford to be falling out with your pals at your age? And why would that be, Trisha? <laughs> well, you're an old man. You could die in the night, and then you and Jack would be in separate worlds with unfinished business. Oh, Again, it, I feel like I relate so much to this. It's so, so crazy, you know. In a, in one way, you're kind of you're kind of happy for your mate to be you know to be happy with some girl, but then it's like we spend so much time together, that's gone. But then you can't you can't be selfish. You have to make sure he's happy. So it's it's such a weird weird situation. Such because like I can't see in my way like my mate Tyler. Yeah, we spend so much time together. So much, probably too much time together. When you think of it, so so like we, he's coming to my gaff in the next two three hours. You know, he's gonna come over here. We're gonna chill, and then we're gonna go to Starbucks, go read a book, chill, relax, get get a drink. You know, it's just that's just the way things are. So I that's why it relates to me so much. And like, try and picture it in your life. There's that one person that you're so so close to. It's not even your missus or your boyfriend. Or your, it's just someone that you're so close to. So when that person goes away, it's like a part of you is missing. And I think that's what Victor is experiencing right now. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, it's just so difficult to see. Two pound twenty. <laughs> Jeez, uh, hello, hello, Isa. He's a wee pal the day. Think they fell out. Oh. We haven't they fallen out? Lucky donkey, Navid. Oh, uh, I'll have a lucky donkey, no, Navid. You'll be a bit of a loose end with Jack tripping a light fantastic with that Barbara sort. No, Isa, good luck to them. Two donkeys. <laughs> Victor, I've got something to tell you. What is it, Isa? This Barbara. She's... Let me guess. She's the Black Widow. No, no, she's... <laughs> Junkie. She's a lap dancer, <laughs> working at a bad club lap and dancing. firing ping-pong balls right out the duff. <laughs> That's a cracker. Out the duff. <laughs> pong, pong, pong. Well, you know I don't like gossip. Are you, Dave? <laughs> I was at the doctor's this morning, women's troubles, and who else is sitting there but Elsa Clark? She's got in China right enough, we sell her living alone, I know. Oh, her daughter works in the Tesco's and the manager there's Alec Wilson. Remember him? <laughs> Fellow that drinks too much. Oh, everybody thought he was gay, turns out he was, not he? <laughs> well, he started a Saturday boy, a nice boy, Victor, bad with the acne. <laughs> and he'd been in the Terry's to get pally with Norma Flynn's boy, Rab, with a funny horn like a claw. <laughs> oh, the beans called him Rab the Crab, mind. Well. His girlfriend's mother was thrown out an old tea set that her granny had left her. Oh, it was perfectly what good. The f but she did get to the it, point. So she gave it to Rab to take up to the charity shop in the precinct. And Rab says to herself, hold on a minute, I don't need to come up to the dune. I'll wash that woman's man's car. I'll take it up myself. So it does. But she's no in. So her man takes in the tea set. 
Whose man took in a tea set, Isa? <laughs> Barbara's man. She's married. Could have said that earlier. <laughs> have you, eh? Uh, oh, have I? Oh, so mm. have I. Uh, Bible, so how many books did you get? Eh, uh, two. What, just one each? That's not very much. Uh, any more than that, you'll be busier than I want. I'm cabby with crabs. <laughs> Winston, <laughs> you doing in here? Anywhere else to go, sure. <laughs> You're a dab hand at that. <laughs> Alright, well, that's what a week with the clansman does for you. It's a week already. Alright, longest week of my life. You see, this morning, I had the crossword done, taught myself chess, and wallpapered the fireplace wall before my first shite of the day. <laughs> You must have seen the mate. You know, Big Tony, you know. Well, he's steaming drunk, you know, and he's in the pub and he's shouting and bawling. I can juggle enough, because nobody believes him. So eventually, like good few of them, I said, maybe we'll buy you a drink if you can juggle right enough. So he's full of that red stuff, that gunk, that aftershock stuff. Full of it. He's in the back of the barn, he's up on a stool in one leg, and I'm going, Tony, Tony! Ah, you never, you never really missed yourself. It was a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Larry Hagman and Lorraine Kelly this morning. No, I did not, no. I did. Look at his age, didn't he? Has he, aye? I thought he looked after his cell, no. You want to get yourself back up with that clansman fella. <laughs> I see you're in with Big Boobra. What is Boobra? Still seeing Victor. Aye. Boobra. No. Oh, aye. You've been in my wide berth since you hooked up with your fancy PC. Eh? That's poor. What's poor? Even Victor hung out to dry like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I was getting some hole flung at me, I'd be distracted and all, but you've got to look after your pals. Oh, hey, 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 hey. It's not like that with me and Barbara. We're just companions. Oh, Q is murder. Hmm. Oh, hello there. It's Winston, isn't it? Hello, hen. Full house. Jamie Cow. Jamie Cow. It's me. That's me off, ladies. Goodbye. Jack. Barbara. Bye. Got a clarinet lesson at two. It's all about where you put your fingers, you know. <laughs> oh, hello, Victor. Hello, Barbara. Cloudy the day, isn't it? Aye, cloudy. I want my pal back. <laughs> what do you mean? You know fine what I mean. You've no right being with him. You're married. Oh, right. That. that what do you think you're playing at, eh? Jack's been widowed ten year. You can't go tinkering with someone's feelings like that. Listen, Victor, the last thing I was going to do was hurt Jack. He's great company. And that's all there is to it. Well, what does your hubby think of that, eh? <coughs> ah. He doesn't know. <laughs> doesn't know what? Hey, doesn't know what to charge for the cardigan. You <laughs> 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 being in here anyway. Just bringing in more clays. <laughs> right, Barbara, how does this sound for tonight? Pepper steaks. Oh, tonight? Oh, you've got other plans. No, no. Tonight will be fine. Smashing. Right. What about you, Victor, tonight? Hey. Well, I thought the three years could sit down and have a nice wee nosh up, eh? Oh, no. You do your thing. I don't want to... Three's a crowd, Jack. Ah, oh, come on now. I was always going to ask you, like. So you were. And what's for pudding? Gooseberries. Ah, <laughs> uh, well... Exhibit A. Read them and weep. Three juicy steaks. How about it? Come on. Aye, all right. Hi. Good. <laughs> so sugar in this, Jack? Oh, aye, there will be. Say, Barbara takes sugar in her tea. Sorry, sorry. Getting mixed up now. So, Winston, earlier on. Oh, aye. He's still barred at the clansman. Really? You're off a quiet. No reason. You in the huff because of me and Barbara? No, it's... it's not that. Well, what is it then? 
I've something to tell you, Jack. I'm your pal, and you need to know. So do. So do. Nine one three five. Oh, hello, Barbara. Yes. Oh, where are you? Oh, how? Oh, I see. No, not at all, no. Well, I'll see you. Di oh, right. Oh. No, that's, that's not at all, no, 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 not at all. Well, uh, look after yourself then, Barbara. And all the best, yes. <coughs> yes, you too. Bye now. That was Barbara. Aye. So not becoming. No. Said she's a. Uh... I know. I'm sorry, Jack. That's all right, Victor. That's all right. At the end of the day, he still has his friend with him. And again, this is why I really love this show. You can be laughing one minute, next minute you're being taught a life lesson. At the end of the day, as long as you have, as long as you have the right person, the right people right be beside you, you can handle anything. It might seem tough, it might seem like a punch in the face, but as long as you got your friends or your family around you, you'll be all right. Let's continue. <laughs> that was a rare oh, meal, I like Jack steak. boy. Right, right. I am stuffed. Oh, me and all, as full as a loaf. Right, to see you two pally again. Is that Winston? <laughs> Winston. <laughs> cool. Blow my cover. Two pints, Bobby. Three pints. Yeah, uh, th three pints, Bobby. How the hell are you playing it? He's no winning. I'll stand here, happy as you like, eh? The perfect customer. He'll be none the wiser. And nobody's tippled. He used to, didn't he? Mm. Let's go, boys. Hey. Hey, yeah, mate. <laughs> Here, you, you dirty bastard! That's exactly <laughs> what I want about! That a bloody disgrace! I mean, that would bring you your daft old tit. <laughs> that place. Oh, my head. What a night. I'll just take another wee half hour. I'm sure Victor will be that jealous. Victor will be alright. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was really, really good. Yeah, I absolutely loved that. Series 1, Episode 4, Cotton. Uh, it's sim it's pretty close to... When I think of the last one, it was cold, wasn't it? I think there's more... This one was more emotional. It still it was very, very funny, but there's more emotional part of it. Which is what, one reason why I love this show. It's not just laughing every single time. It gets you thinking about life, which I really love. Yeah, if you want to see more, you know what to do. I'm doing loads of British comedy. I'm going deep, deep. We're doing Catherine Tate, Billy Connolly, Lee Evans, Kevin Bridges, uh, Frankie Boy. We're doing so much. Uh, Ari Enfield and Chums. 
there's uh, so much. So if you want to see that, just please, all you have to do is just subscribe and push the notification button because sometimes YouTube doesn't let you guys know I've posted. But once you click on the bell, then you know I've posted. Six o'clock every single day, I'm posting. Six o'clock every single day. I post at least twice. So I post at six o'clock and seven o'clock. Sometimes if I'm feeling kinky, not kinky. <laughs> If I'm feeling really good, I post three times that. So I post six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. I just want to give you guys loads of stuff to watch. I'm really enjoying this. Let's, thanks for the journey. Let's keep going. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.